Today I'm going to try and learn the hardest Metallica solo ever. And it's not up for debate which solo is the hardest out of Metallica's catalog. There is no question. It's Creeping Death! Okay, I'm just kidding. You can debate it. Leave a comment down below. Tell me which Metallica solo you think is the hardest. Anyways, I think it's Creeping Death for a variety of reasons, which I will get into. I have never tried to learn this solo. I have listened to it many times, which I believe is the first rule of learning anything. You should be able to sing it in your head so that way you have a strong sense of ear training going into it and you understand when maybe you didn't quite play that lick correctly. Having that sort of understanding is actually quite valuable inherently as we try and learn licks, especially licks that go pretty quickly like these. We will rely on our ear a lot of the time. I don't use any tabs or anything like that. It's more valuable to me as an exercise to try and pick everything out by ear because whether or not I ever play this guitar solo live in a cover or something like that, that's probably not really what's important to me. What's really important is being able to figure out new ways to use my fingers on the guitar neck and maybe come up with some licks of my own that are inspired by this very influential sound. And as we know, this is a sort of thrashy era of Metallica's sound, and I want to let you guys know exactly what I'm using to achieve this sound. <laughs> So we have the heavy from Empress FX going into this Javelina from Lawrence Petros Design. And for the reverb, I am using the Ventress from Source Audio, and that is going into the effects loop of the Sanzera 20 from PRS coming out of this awesome 4x10 cab with greenback Celestian speakers. The Javelina is cool because it's like a little transparent boost. I actually dialed in a very muddy sound on the heavy. Javelina, clarity is key. All right, let's go ahead and get started. I actually haven't listened to this yet today. I listened to it when I came up with the idea for this video maybe about a week ago, so let's go ahead and hear the first little bit. All right, so it sounds like some major scale action. It's on an E minor chord, so. Immediately I know this is in some sort of E minor key. Never be afraid to sing. So that's the first note. There's the octave. So that's where it starts. Okay, so we're up there maybe in the 12th position. I may have to adjust. Is it just straight up the scale? Yep. So we have Maybe it'd be easier to do that all in one string Classic 22 fret bend. So the beginning we have. All right, 
close enough for now. Let's move on and see if we can put some more together. <laughs> All right, that sounds simple, but then it does something weird at the end. I know it does the, the classic. I don't know if he's picking that or, or pulling it off. It's kind of hard to hear this solo in the mix too. All about those last two notes. All right, it's definitely that. So it's three groups of eight sixteenth notes, and then the final bar of the measure is the da 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 one two three four five. seconds later. Is that actually what it is? <laughs> that would be way easier if that's what it is. so much easier. I was about to be like, ah, oh, what did I get myself into? Because the way I was trying to learn that, uh, it was the same notes, but again, it's all about the position. It was definitely a pentatonic driven player, and that makes tons of sense that this would be the lick. As opposed to... It just doesn't make any sense ergonomically. So... Wow, that's a great realization. All right, let's see what do we have next. This sounds like some bluesy stuff. All right, simple enough. Oh, I remember that one. Now, is it pulling off both of them? I don't think it really matters. Lots of that happening. So this part sounds like it's a little bit of natural minor as well, because there's a little bit more color than just pentatonic stuff. Something like that, so it starts off pentatonic. This is where we get in trouble again. Is he doing descending or is he doing it kind of more uh, horizontal? Or. Or. I guess that one makes more sense. It's usually a good way to get a lick down that you're having sort of trouble with, like a tongue twister type lick like that. Just start slow and eventually your muscle memory will take over. Okay, what are the few notes before that? Woo -boo 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 -boo. Two 
tomorrow. All right, round two, I had to uh, quit, go eat some dinner, and it's the next day. All right, I'm gonna start right there because I don't know if I had those. I think it is that, because it sounds like he's sliding up. Just like a A minor triad. Because it's a quick thing, so that might actually be it. That's what we're going with. Let's move on. All right, that sounds like some sort of minor arpeggio. Uh, this sounds different. So that's pretty straightforward. All right, at least we're putting some stuff together here. Now this part, this this sounds like he's just going. And it's so like low in the mix, I almost don't know how much effort I should put into learning the exact notes. Cause I think it's more about the effect of like. This sounds like a little bit of a modulation, like, like. I know that's the target note. It starts the sort of little coda there. It's definitely F sharp. All right, so got to break it into little phrases. It's the only way to do these quick passages. All right, we're going to keep it at that and just keep trying to get through this thing and then we'll work on speeding it up. So we have So we're still sticking just right in this natural minor. Right? A few moments later. All right, for this part, you know what I'm gonna do right now? I'm going to swap so I can get a little bit more neck access. Yeah. Let's do this. <sighs> All right. <laughs> I think we have it about 80% there. Uh, and that last 20% is the really hard part because I have to play it up to speed and I'm not gonna bore you with those details, it's just a matter of repetition of all the phrases that I've gone over so far. So we're gonna go ahead and do one of these and show you the final results. 2,000 years later.
learning really hard Metallica solos, really get your chops going. Uh, this was awesome. I had a lot of fun. I don't think I quite did the solo justice, but obviously if I spent a lot more time on it, then I could probably get it close to where Metallica would say, yes, we will allow this. Uh, but just goes to show, you always have more to learn and more to practice, so I hope this was a helpful sort of insight into my guitar learning process. And why don't you go and learn the hardest solo you think you can learn. I bet you can do it. Until next time, keep shredding. <laughs>